In this video, we're going to cover skip logic. Skip logic is used to skip over questions based on certain conditions. I'm going to use the rules demo survey to demo all of the skip logic. Let's view a, a quick demo of skipping. I'll start off by starting the emulator at question number 8. Note that in this demo video I'm using the PC preview emulator and not a mobile preview emulator. I'm going to right click this question and start it in the emulator. You are now on Q8. Would you like to skip Q9? If I click on yes, I skip directly to Q10. If I go back and click on no, I view Q9. This is essentially skipping, as Q9 contains some code that decides whether this question is skipped or not. Of course, you can also implement this using branching from Q8 instead of skipping of Q9. But for this example, we're going to use the skipping logic in Q9. There are three ways you can implement skip logic, using the wizard, using custom logic, or using functions. Let's start with the wizard. Let's say I want to add that skipping logic that we've just seen to Q9. The first thing to do is switch to the rules tab as we want to manipulate the entrance rule. The entrance rule controls whether this question will be shown or not, or skipped or not. The first method to configure a skip logic is to click on the create rule link right here. This will launch the skip rule wizard. Please note the wizard is only appropriate if you're configuring configuring very basic skipping instructions. If you wish to configure more complex skipping instructions, you would prefer to use either the custom logic or the function-based skipping. Display question 14 only if the answer to question number 8 was no. Click on finish and what this did is put in a function call for us equals 13 comma 2. What this means is only enter this question if the answer to question number 13 was the answer number 2. Question number 13 is Q8 and the answers are either yes or no skip Q9 or don't. So we only want to show question 9 if the answer to the previous questions was 2, was to not skip. Don't worry about the fact that 13 here is written hard-coded. Survey2Go is smart enough to update these indices if you move questions around or add or remove questions. Here's a reminder that the entire functions reference manual can be downloaded from our support site at support.dubo.net and in the search box enter handbook. This will bring up the built-in functions handbook post and from there you can download the command function reference guide. In this guide you can find out details about all of the functions. For example, equals. If you double click on a function, it will bring up the details of that function, including the parameters used and examples. So in our case, the equals has the question ID and a value to check. There are different ways to specify that we want to enter Q9 only if the previous question was answer too, but the wizard uses the equals function. For more complex skipping rules, you can use custom logic. Custom logic means that you don't rely on the wizard, but instead just write the function and script code that you wish to use. Here is an example for a more complex skipping code.
I've just specified to only enter Q9 if the answer to the previous question, KerQuest minus 1, equals 1, and the answer to question number 1 equals 2. You can use logic, ORs, and ANDs to specify multiple conditions in one entrance uh, rule. To get more information about using various operators such as AND, OR, NOT, etc., head over to our support site and just write operators in the search box. This will bring up the how to use basic scripting operators post. You'll find information about logical operators available. In some cases, using AND and ORs will simply not be sufficient and you need to base the skipping on much more complex functions. To do this, you can either use an expression question or write a custom function. In my example, I'm going to replace the entrance rule to use a custom function. To do that, first I'm going to remove the current entrance rule. Second, I'm going to add my custom function by clicking the advanced scripts link. I'm going to add a new function called should Q9 show. It return, returns either true or false based on some custom logic that I can write. I'm going to save this and then use this function from the entrance rule. What the engine now will do is run this should Q9 show function before showing Q9 and base the sh whether this question should be skipped or not based on that function. Sometimes you need to skip entire chapters and no, not only specific questions. You can do that by either adding an entrance rule to each of the questions in the chapter or you could do it a little bit more smarter by adding an entrance rule to the chapter. Each chapter has a rules tab as well. In a chapter execution rule or entrance rule where you can add script code just as an entrance rule to a question. So I could call the show Q9 should Q9 show function from the entrance rule of the entire chapter. In this demo we covered basic skipping.